Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. Good morning. So today we'll be working on the five movements of the spine. A little bit of a recap, a little bit of everything, um, just to get the body moving and to think about how we move. Um, in terms of what we're focusing on mentally today, we'll be doing um, some work with cooling the flames. So although this is not a tapas class where we're going to be getting, you know, working it all out through heat, um, thinking about how we can step back from our reactionary selves into our um, calm centered selves. And the way that we do that is what we practice when we're breathing, um, when we're initiating the parasympathetic system. And so we will begin in our comfortable seated position. And we'll take some grounding breaths. So inhaling through the nose and exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale through the nose, out through your mouth. Last time, inhaling through your nose and out through your mouth. Coming to breathe just through the nose now, inhaling and exhaling, closing your eyes or dropping them three quarters of the way the lids down, looking at the floor, trying to relax the eyelids. Starting to pay attention to the breath more closely. How the breath moves in and out of the body. Starting to even the inhale and the exhale. Focusing inward. And if it helps counting so that you can really pay attention to the length of the inhale and the exhale. Moving into what we know as the ujjayi breath. Constriction through the throat to elongate your breath even further. And listening to that oceanic sound of the breath. I know you have all heard this before when we get upset or overexcited. And, and I'm saying that now because I have a almost 13 year old girl who I'm constantly telling to calm down. But we say, take a breath. Take three breaths, calm down, right? Relax. So a big part of cooling our fires, cooling the flames is coming back to this breath getting back in touch with our parasympathetic system, slowing the heartbeat, slowing the breath.
and then keeping this quality, this low, steady breath, we'll lie down on our backs on the mat. I'm going to move my kitten. Hello. Off you go. And then turn to your side. Okay. Knees up, little fetal position here. Come back to the breath. Don't lose it just because you moved. And then we're moving into a book opening twist. So instead of twisting the whole torso back and over we'll initiate with the arm so i'm on my left side i'll start with the right and i'll cue to the right you can if you're on your other side that's fine so with our right arm we reach forward first so our right shoulder is moving forward and then as we inhale up to the sky and over to the right side and then on your exhale bringing it back Active movement. Inhale, reaching that right arm forward, up and over. Exhale, bring it back. Again, forward, up and over. Bring it back. Twice more, inhaling up and over. And bring it back. Last time, really getting that right shoulder involved. Inhale, reach forward, up, and back. Exhale, bring those hands together. Okay, other side, turn it over. So I'm on my right side now, I'm cueing left. Take a breath to settle and reach your left arm forward, up and back on your inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Well, to your side. Inhale, forward, up, back. Exhale, center. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, hands together. I lost count. Inhale, forward, up, and back. Exhale together. Last time, forward, up, and back. And then hands together. Now turn it onto your back. Left leg straight, Supta Padre Gustasana. Right leg up. Flexing that left leg very strongly and allow your back to have the natural curve of your spine. So you're not pushing your lower back down very strongly. For the first part of this, we'll do two versions, one without binding and the second with binding. So end of range motion, wherever your right leg can go is where it will go and then you hold it there. Arms can be out to the side, holding your belly, whatever works for you. I kind of like goalpost arms in this so that my shoulders start opening a little bit. And then opening that right leg out to the side. Again, using your muscles to hold it there and range of motion so you're stretching and you're activating. Inhale your leg back to center. Exhale over to the left just a little bit. So only enough that you feel the, at the outside of your right leg, that ITB. Okay, right hip is still on the ground, so not a full twist. And then coming back to center, right leg down, left leg up. So this is showing us how we're activating our muscles as we stretch. And then when we use the strap, you'll, your body will know. Inhaling and exhaling here, even though we're moving, slow movements. Staying with the steady breath. And then opening to the left side. Good. 
back up to center, allowing that leg to move to the right, feeling the stretch along the outer, the outer leg. Strong feet, strong legs. Back up to center, lower the left leg, lift the right. So this time binding, but keeping that action in the muscles of the legs and the core, where you that too. So this time, if you'd like, you can pull the foot a little closer to your face if you have that opening. But remember, we're still using the muscles of the legs. So we're not relaxing into this. We're activating the muscles as we lengthen them. And then over to the right. Bring the right foot back up, change the hold. So now it's in your left hand. And same thing, just a little bit over to the left, depending on how open your, your side ITV, the iliotibial band is on the side of your leg. Mine is not very open, <laughs> kind of tight. Always working with the breath. Come back up to center, left leg up to the sky, right leg long. Holding onto your toe or your strap. Still engaging through the leg, still engaging the muscles as we stretch them. Opening the left leg out to the left. Bringing that left leg back to center, holding on with your right hand and reaching over to the right, breathing. I was just thinking how nice it is to have the windows open, listening to the birds and how Pretty soon, we'll be going into more cold weather, trying to enjoy these days, the beautiful weather while we can. Back up to center and lowering the left leg down to meet the right. <clears throat> Coming back up and making your way into down dog. Taking the time in down dog to find your breath again. Any movements you like here to help you open the body are good. I'm walking my dog. Strong pressure on the palms. So try to find those four corners of your palms. And then see if you can make your feet any longer. So increasing your shoe size, when we call it that, spreading your heel away from the balls of your feet. And then bend your knees, shoot your butt up to the sky. So you have that long axial extension of your spine and then start straightening your legs again. The first movement of the spine is our axial extension. And that's when I talk about traction in your spine, moving the vertebrae away from each other, getting more light. Step your right foot forward, coming into a lunge, keeping your left hand down or on a block. So if you're needing a block, that's fine. Axial extension, the length of the spine. So right hand into the right hip crease, keep your legs active, and then we're finding more length from our tailbone to the crown of our head. Come back to your breath. One more inhale. Place both hands down, stepping back to down dog. Length in the spine. You know, we talk about length from the palms through the sits bones. 
And that's what we're referring to, the long axial extension of the spine. Step the left foot forward, right hand stays down, fingertips or block, left hand to the left hip. And a lot of times when I cue this, I'll say, you know, length from the right heel through the crown of the head. Today, I mean, it's the same thing. We're focusing this time though on just the spine. So although we have that length from the heel to the crown of the head, try to find the length in the spine from your sits bone, from the actually the coccyx, the bottom of your spine, all the way up to the top. And then both hands down, step back to down dog. Back to the breath. Move those flames as they arise. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or hop feet between the hands. Folding into Uttanasana. Inhale into Utkatasana. And then place your hands on your upper thighs. Okay, we'll allow our shoulders to come up towards our ears in this one. Pushing down into the palms of the hands, lock out your elbows, which I never tell you guys to do. Let your shoulders come up towards your ears, and there's your extension. Okay. And then take your thumbs into your hip crease and fold forward, keeping that length. Again, inhale, Utkatasana, one more time. Hands on the thighs, elbows locked out, shoulders coming up towards the ears, long spine. Good, feeling how we can lengthen there. And then folding forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. I like to place my thumbs in the hip crease to find a little more length. So I'm not dropping down quite as much usually. You can bend your knees and drop here. But again, we're not rounding to the spine for this version. We're finding the length. And then pushing into the feet, reaching your hands up over your head. Interlace your fingers. Push the palms forward. Lift up over your head. Okay, neutral spine, but long spine. So now using the muscles to lengthen. Push down through your heels, reach up through your palms, and find more length from your coccyx through the crown of your head. One more inhale. Exhale, releasing the hands, moving into our sun salutes. We'll start with half salutes to establish the breath. Inhaling, arms forward and up, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And this is where we can find that axial extension. Hands up the legs as much as you need to to find length through the spine. Forward fold again and come all the way up. Hands to heart center. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Adding a squat in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, toes out, heels in, lower into Malasana. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, toes forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, toes out, heels in, Malasana. Extra inhale here, find length through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, push into those hands, get more length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Surya A with lunges. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, right knee down. Okay, axial extension here, hands stay on the ground, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, lower to the mat. Sphinx pose with the pull. Elbows under shoulders, palms strongly down. And then pull your palms towards your body. Hips are strong and pushing into the mat. Tops of feet are strong and pushing into the mat. So here, even though we're in extension in a back bend, we're still lengthening through the spine. One more inhale. Exhale. Back to down dog through hands and knees or a push up. Inhale here. Exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, fingertips on the ground, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen axial extension. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. On your exhale, all the way down. Inhale, traction spine. Exhale, fingertips down, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, pull your fingertips towards you to lengthen further. Exhale, plank. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. This time, cobra. Hands down, lifting into cobra, and then pull your hands towards you. Extra breath. Exhale back, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot forward, right knee down, fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, traction. Exhale, forward. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. So getting that pace of breath. Exhale, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, pulling those fingertips towards you to lengthen your spine. Stepping back to plank. Extra inhale here. Exhale, lower, halfway down. Land your hips, lift your heart, cobra, pull. Exhale back, down dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhale, pull. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Hands to heart center. Okay. Low lunge knee off the ground. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Steady breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fingertips down, right foot back, knee off the ground. Left thumb in the hip crease. Inhale, extend, just like we did for warm up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhaling, sphinx pose, pull. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Left knee stays off the ground. Right thumb in the hip crease and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. 
Fold again. Push down, lift up. Onto the other side, hands to heart center and fold. Lift and lengthen. Fingertips down, left foot back, knee off the ground, right thumb in hip crease, inhale to lengthen. It's a lot of, a lot of cues there. Exhale, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower only halfway this time, chaturanga. Hips down, heart up, cobra pull. Exhale, back, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step through, right knee stays off the mat. Left thumb and hip crease, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Full crescent lunge this time. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, right foot back. This time, inhaling all the way up. Keep a long spine. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, to the mat. Sphinx pose, pull. Inhale and lengthen spine. Exhale, back to down dog. We'll have time to get into our traditional surveys. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to chest, step through. For these, we're lengthening spine. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, traction your spine. Forward fold. Come all the way up. And exhale all the way down for the other side. Inhale, traction. Exhale, left foot back, crescent lunge. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down, down dog. Inhale, plank. This time, halfway down. Land your hips, lift your heart, cobra, and pull. Yes, good. Back to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step through. Inhaling, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Lengthen your spine. Forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Hands to heart center. Surya A traditional. Inhaling, arms up. Forward fold. Lift and lengthen. Step or hop, plank chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. And down dog. Three breaths, slow and steady. Coming back to your breath. So the pace of the breath is dictating our movement. Sometimes we start to feel a little out of breath, which means we should slow the movement, which of course is hard since I'm cueing. So you're kind of trapped with me for this. But if you need a break, if you need to find your breath again, down dog, child's pose, maybe staying in a standing pose a little bit longer, not taking the full vinyasa. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, float or step. And inhale to traction your spine. Axial extension. Forward fold again. Inhale all the way up. Find the length from your heels to the fingertips. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale, Surya A. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, float or step. Plank, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, or sphinx if you like that. And down dog. Again, back to the breath. So this is where we start to really see the need for cooling the flames, okay? cooling the fires. We're creating more heat. We're creating more need for breath. 
staying with the breath, staying with that calm awareness. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, float or step feet between the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Forward fold. Come all the way up. Hands to heart center. So you be with extra breaths. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Oh, I forgot Utkatasana. We'll get it next time. Here, how about right here? Inhale, Utkatasana. Ha ha. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, plank chaturanga. Roll one breath. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Here's an extra breath. Inhale. Exhale, turn that left foot out, step the right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one, push into the back foot. Exhale, hands down, down dog first. Inhale, plank. Exhale, halfway down. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Inhale. Turn the right foot out, step the left foot forward, exhale. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, step back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Halfway down. Cobra up dog. And down dog. So it's a little more controlled when you don't just blast through it, trying to hold your breath, trying to keep your breath pace. Still working with that slow, steady Ujjayi breath. It will pick up somewhat as we move more. It's to be ex expected, but let's just continue trying to hold on to it. So inhale, look forward. Exhale, float or step. Inhale, flat back. Forward fold. Utkatasana. Come to stand. One more time. Utkatasana. Forward fold. Traction spine. Plank chaturanga. Cobra up dog. Back to down dog. Inhale. Turn the left foot out. Step the right foot forward. Exhaling. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Halfway lower. Cobra or up dog. And back to down dog. Inhale. Turn the right foot out. Exhale, the left foot forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down, down dog. Inhale, plank. Lower halfway. Cobra or up dog. And down dog. Three breaths. Let your head go and find the long spine here. Axial extension. Inhale, look forward. Step or float feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Hands to heart center. Now add in a neutral spine position. So inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. We're adding it in. So as we inhale to halfway lift, still axial extension. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, lift the shoulders over the hips, find a long spine. Exhale, down dog. If you want a vinyasa, take it. Inhaling plank, chaturanga, cobra or up dog, and back to down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Knee to chest, exhale through, inhaling warrior two. Come on up. Okay, so now we're adding our neutral spine position, hands to hips. So we don't want to super tuck the tail in this position. 
we're keeping it with that slight lower back arch, unless you have a very severe lower back arch, in which case you'll tilt it a little forward to get neutrality, okay? Shoulders over hips, and then reaching the arms out to the side. Good. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the arms, step back to down low. If you want a vinyasa, take it. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. And back. Down dog. Good. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhaling, warrior two. Same thing. So I'm facing away from you. You can see my, my hips a little bit better. So if you have that arch in your lower back, you want to tuck. For most of us, we're in a neutral position here, and we don't need to tuck very much, okay? So we're using our thighs to stabilize the hips. We've got a neutral lower back, neutral spine, nice and straight, arms out. We're staying with the breath, right? Slow and steady, cooling those fires as they arise. Exhale, down dog. Take a vinyasa if you want. Plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Nice and slow breaths. Down dog. Inhale, look forward. Actually, exhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Ha ha, I caught myself. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Inhale, lengthen spine, axial extension, forward fold, all the way up, hands to heart center. So moving on with our neutral stop spine position, inhaling, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, right foot back, we'll come into crescent lunge, inhale up. Hands down, down dog. Take a vinyasa if you want. Inhale nice and slow. Exhale, lower halfway. Cobra or up dog. And down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Knee to chest, step through. Coming back to warrior two. Straighten both legs. Neutral spine, okay? So if your hips are tilting back way far, tuck it. Otherwise, let your hips be neutral, relaxed, spine stacking on top, arms out to a T. You know where we're going, Trikonasana, reaching forward and then down, okay? So we have our spine, the lower back, has its natural lumbar curve. The upper back is spreading. And your head, notice where your head is in space. Most of the time we allow it to be forward. Pull it back so that your skull is in line with the top of your spine. And then from here, bend the front knee, reaching the left arm up and over. Okay, so instead of We'll come back to this for a lateral flexion movement. But right now, we're just keeping the spine in line with the back foot. So straight line, back foot to the fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, down dog. Inhale, plank. Lower halfway. Cobra or up dog. And back, down dog. Other side, inhale, left leg up. Step through, coming into a warrior two. Keeping that neutral spine, natural spine position, neutral, natural. Straighten both legs, reaching forward, and then pivot into your triangle pose. So when I'm in triangle pose, I actually feel that lower left hip, right? So the left, Bottom of the left hip, pulling back towards the right foot. And that gives me a more neutral pelvic position. 
to extend on top of head and line this time. And then bending the front knee, right arm up and over, staying high enough so that your spine, your foot, your hip, and your hand are all in the same line. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank, lower halfway. Coming up, cobra up dog, and down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, float or step. Inhale, axial extension, increasing our vocabulary. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, one more like that. Inhaling, lift and lengthen. This time, warrior one. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right foot back. Lift to crescent lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank or not. Halfway down, cobra or up dog, and down dog. Remember, there's always an or not when I'm cueing something. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through, and then we're coming into warrior one. Inhale up, hands to hips. Taking those feet almost as wide as your mat. Back foot is in the same angle as your knee, could be 45 degrees, more or less. And then here, the tendency is to hyperextend through the upper back, right? Getting that arch. For this version, keep your shoulders above your hips. All right, so we have a little bit of that lumbar curve, right? And then we have the spine growing on top of it, and then we have our head right on top. Arms up. See how far you can reach your arms up, keeping your neck relaxed. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. My right foot's actually to the outside of my right hand. Step back, down dog. I'm taking an extra breath because I can't breathe. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Right heel down, inhaling. Warrior one, hands on hips. So this is what I see a lot. Okay, shoulders over hips, belly tucking in. Keep that natural curve. Arms reach up. Straight line. Inhale. Hands down. Down dog. If you'd like, vinyasa. Inhale, plank. Lower halfway. Cobra or up dog. And down dog. Okay, now moving into some lateral flexion, so that's a side, the side bend action. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through, warrior two. Okay, what's our favorite lateral flexion? Left hand down, right arm up, reverse warrior, right? Long length through the right side body, stretching it over. One more inhale, exhale, extended side angle, but a little different. So here we are, right hand to upper thigh, upper left thigh, and you're pushing it down, okay, towards your foot, high cut. Left arm up and over, and instead of keeping it the straight line that we had with our neutral spine, allow yourself to come a little bit further down so that your left hand is actually reaching towards the floor. Feeling that big side body stretch. Okay, inhaling into the left rib cage. Okay, one more inhale. And then exhale, hands to the mat, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank, we'll all do this together, all the way down to the mat. High tide. Elbows on your shoulders, palms down, sphinx pull. So pull that heart through, lengthen your spine. Extra breaths here. Inhale. Exhale back to down dog. I'm going to just chill out here for a little bit. 
That's how I'm feeling this morning, Monday morning. Okay, inhale, left leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Okay, lateral extension. So we're lengthening through the side body. You like that? Tick tock. Right hand to the back leg, left arm up, creating more reach through the left side body as you breathe into the left side rib cage. For most people, this feels pretty fantastic. Sometimes, if you have um, sacroiliac issues, it can trigger. So just be aware. This is one of the reasons why we do this. Be aware of what's happening in your body. One more inhale. Exhale, coming into side angle again. Right arm up. Left hand to the inside of the left leg. And then take that left hand to the top of your right thigh. Really grab it and push towards your right foot. And then with your right arm, if you'd like, you can start reaching towards the floor. Getting that big curve in your right side body and breathing into it. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down, step back to down dog. Inhale, plank. Lower half leg. Hips down, hard up, cobra pull. Pull on through. And then coming back to down dog. Inhale the right leg up. So for this version of three legged dog, or fire hydrant, we're keeping that right leg straight and allowing the hips to open with that right leg tilting back to the left side. Okay, really let it go as long as you don't fall over. You fall over, come on back. Inhale, straighten up and exhale, step through. Warrior one, inhaling up. Exhale, right arm to the side, left arm up and over, left side uh, lateral extension. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, down dog. Other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open, 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 straight leg. Push into the left hand. Find length from the left hand to the left foot. Okay, this is a little more on the front of our body. So as still getting that lateral opening, inhale, exhale, step forward on your inhale, warrior one, lift up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over, lateral extension, right side. Inhale, both hands to the sky. Exhale, step back, down dog. Okay, this one is really fun. This is one of my favorite poses. You guys know this. I call it lounge lunge. I found another name for it. It's called Vishnu's couch. Kind of interesting. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step your foot halfway forward. So it feels like you just got stuck here on your stepping forward action. And then step your left hand forward a little bit more. So what do they call these? This is the monkey crawl. I can't remember. We used to do these in summer camp. And then turn to the right side of your mat so that your right toes are facing out and you're on the outer rim of your left foot. Okay, your left hand is forward, so it's not directly under your shoulder. And then allow your left hip to come down towards the mat without touching. Again, we've got this straightened out left um, elbow. We're allowing the left shoulder to come up towards the ear. And then for the pretty version, we have our mudra reaching back to the foot. Oh, so pretty. Okay. We'll be transitioning to a side plank version. So we'll lift the hips, push into the right foot, right arm comes up and then reaches up and over the body. Yes. And here we are, lateral extension on the right side. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, Vishnu's couch or lounge lunge. Left hip is not on the ground. Inhale, lift and lengthen, right side body. 
Exhale, lower. This is the last one. Inhale, reach up and over. Exhale, both hands down. Step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step halfway up the mat. Step your right hand towards the upper right corner of your mat. And then turn to the left side and lower your left hip. Okay? Straight right elbow, right shoulder coming up towards the ear. My right hip is not on the ground. Strong right leg. Make it pretty. Don't forget to breathe. And then on our inhale, reaching up and over. Extended side plank. And exhale, lower. Inhale, up and over. And exhale, lower. Last one, up and over. Plant your hands. Step back. I gotta kick your kitten out of the way. <laughs> Down dog. Okay, so now we'll be moving into some standing poses with twists. So we've covered axial extension, the length. We've covered lateral extension, which is our side bending. And now moving into twists. Some of you have done this with me before. So stepping forward. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Forward fold. And Utkatasana. Okay, hands to heart center. So we get a little reprieve here for moving. Inhale, we've got our long spine, right? That's our first thing in our twist. And then exhale, reaching your left elbow towards the outer right knee. Now look at your knees and look at your feet. Keep them even. So this is the hip stabilization version. Okay, squeezing in with the inner thighs, extending out through the spine, keeping the knees and the feet the same, the same plane, the same direction. Come back to center. Now exhaling to the left, right elbow to the outside of the left, and look at your knees, look at your feet, extend out through your spine. And this is how I normally cue it, okay? Because I like that hip stabilization for my lower back. But there is another way we can do this. So come back up to center. This time, as you twist to the right, Allow the left knee to come forward so that you're actually initiating the twist from your hips. Okay, this feels to me much easier because I'm not engaging my hips the same way. Twist it initiated from the pelvis, which is actually the bottom of your spine. It all works together. Come back up and then to the left, allowing that right knee to come forward, initiating from the bottom of your spine, all the way up to the crown of your head. Come back up. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. One half sun salute to breathe. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, traction your spine. Axial extension. And forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Let's add lateral extension. Grab that left wrist. Exhale to the right. Inhale back up. Grabbing the right wrist. Exhale to the left. Inhale back up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale lengthen. Exhale step the right foot back. High lunge. Inhale lift your arms. Okay. Lunge twist. I'll be facing away from you. Hands to heart center. Take an inhale here. Remember our long spine. So extend forward. Spine in line with that heel. And twist to the left. Keeping your hips level. Okay, so we're really engaging through those inner thighs. Squeezing. Lengthen from the heel to the crown of the head. One line. Okay, come back up. And now we'll let the hip lead. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to the left, and let the left hip come up. So your right hip drops a little bit. 
and then we're twisting from there. So a deeper twist, but for me, less stability. Okay, come on up. Hands to the mat, step back, down dog. If you want a vinyasa, take it, inhale and plank. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Okay, inhale, right leg up. Step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hands to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right. Pushing deeply into both feet. Stabilizing your hips. Okay, so we're keeping this right hip tucked in and down. Long line from the left heel. Okay, inhale back up. Again, this time leading from the hips. Left hip drops, right hip comes up. Find your twist. Good. Good. Inhale back up. Exhale, hands down. Step back, round up. If you want a vinyasa, take it. Plank, chaturanga, cobra up dog, and back to down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through, and then take your left foot and step it forward. Parsvokanasana. Actually, Parsvotanasana. So we're in pyramid pose here, right? Yes. Okay, this is a classic one with the hips. Taking your right hand to your sacrum. Left hand can be on the block if that helps you find extension. So squeezing the hips in, finding that neutral spine position, that neutral pelvic position, squeezing in with the legs, Extending out through the crown of the head. Okay, so we've axial extension here. Now, for our twist, keeping the hips where they are, start turning your chest to the right side. So this twist version is really emphasizing our axial extension and the stability of the hips. Okay, point your chest back to the ground. Okay, the next one, will allow our hips to go. I feel like all of my students have been waiting for me to say that for years. Letting the left hip drop, lifting the right hip, turning towards the right side, right arm to the sky. So for me, I have a lot more um, range of motion in the hip moving pose, but, but it is not as great for my lower back stability. And that's something I struggle with, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, step back to down dog. Inhale, plank if you want, or stay in down dog, lower halfway. Inhale, cobra up, and exhale down. Here we go, other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Step the right foot forward, and flatten your spine. Parsvottanasana. Can you hear him destroy my furniture? Okay, so left hand to sacrum. This is the hip stabilizing version, axial extension version, okay? And then we start twisting to the left. So spine is long, as it is with all twists. I just think of this as more like working from the spine, from the pelvis to keep the spine straight, and then twisting the thoracic spine only. And then I don't have, you can see where my arm is, much range of motion with my hips too. Come on down. Okay, let's let it go. Right hip drops, leads the twist, left hip lifts, right arm to the sky, and there we go. Big opening in my chest, my pecs. I'm able to push a little bit further, not push, but allow my body to move a little bit further into this twist with my hips engaged too. Hands down, down dog. You know your options, take what you'd like.
Oh my goodness, we're running out of time. Okay, one more. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, coming up to, yes, crescent. I had to think about that for a minute. Hands to heart center. Step forward, warrior three. So knowing that we've been revolving, okay, twisting, from here, moving into um, Ardha Chandra Chapasana. No, Ardha Chandra. Parvito Ardha Chandra. Ah, okay. So for this one, right hand to the block. Nope, left hand to the block. Right hand to the belly button or your sacrum. So this is the square hip version, right? Turning the chest to the right. Inhale, exhale, lower down, step back to down dog. So I'm not gonna make you hold that for the two versions. We'll go back to it. Left foot forward, inhale, crescent lunge. Hands to heart center. Step forward, warrior three. Right hand to the block, left hand to your sacrum. Turn to the left. Keeping those hips in a neutral position. Step back, down dog. Okay, same thing, letting our hips lead. Stepping forward, inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Left hand down to the block or the floor, right hand to the hips. Now, let the left hip drop a little bit to initiate the twist. One more inhale, exhale, step back, down dog. Inhale here, exhale, left foot forward, inhale, crescent. Hands to heart center, step into warrior three. Place the right hand down, lead with the hips, dropping the right hip, lifting the left, twist. Okay, stepping back, down dog, neutralizing the spine again. So we've done axial extension, lateral extension, rotation, which is our twist, now neutralizing. Coming down, Whew. options for neutral spine arm balances. You've got dolphin or pinchamayarasana, handstand or down dog or child's pose, which is a slight flexion, but not too bad. So when you're ready, we'll take one of those options. And since this is a two, three, I will show hands stand at the wall. So getting set up, we'll hold it for, I don't know, about 30 seconds. Setting up, remember dolphin, down dog, or handstand, whichever version you like. And come on down. Kneeling or child's pose. So five movements of the spine. We have not covered extension, back bends, or flexion forward bends, which we will do in our warming down phase. So, Let's take, um, we're going to take a version of pigeon pose that's active with a back bend. Okay, you may have seen this. I'll probably post this as the YouTube picture, um, but you've seen it in my promotions for this week's class. So, two blocks if you have them. And a strap. You don't have to make a loop with the strap for those of you that maybe <laughs> are a little more remedial in your strap usage. 
So for this version of pigeon, we actually sit our hips on the blocks. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I probably should tilt my camera down a little bit. So I have like my blocks in a choo-choo train. Okay, one in front of the other. And then I'm wrapping my knee around the upper left corner of the block, the front block. All right, if you have more limitation in your hips, you can take the blocks higher, maybe use four, or just skip this and, and sit up in a pigeon or take a reclined pigeon, okay? Now look at your back knee, and we want our back knee in line with our back hip. So left knee, most, most of the time, needs to move towards the middle of your mat a little bit more. And then we're taking our strap, okay? And the strap will go over the top of your left foot. And you'll grab the strap right at the foot, okay? Then we'll start pulling our left elbow in towards our ribcage. We're gonna flip the grip. You guys have done this with me before. Elbow points up to the sky. Only take as much light in the strap as you need to flip your grip. Good, Deborah. Nice. So you're maybe taking a little longer. Elbow comes in, around, and up. Good, yes. And then allow your back foot to pull your left arm back towards, towards it. So you're not pulling with the arm, bringing the foot forward, but pulling the foot, bringing the arm back to get more opening through the thoracic spine. So this is just a nice way to not have to activate the legs quite as much for Ekapadaraja Kapotasana. And then if you want to add in the right arm too, if you have that opening, feel free to take it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And then the last version, holding onto the strap with the right hand, if you were able to grab it. And then you take your left hand to your left shin. I'm not sure if this has a purpose, but it looks really pretty. Okay, still allow that left leg to pull the right arm up and down. All right, let's let that go. Other side. Moving the choo-choo train to the left side of your mat. Good. And sitting with your hips, with your left hip on the block, wrapping the right knee crease around the upper right corner of the front block. And then notice your right knee. Okay, turn the right knee down. And then the right knee is right behind the right hip. So if you're feeling any compression in the lower back, you either want to take it higher or you want to really push down with those legs, squeeze in to stabilize the hips. Okay, so we've got the bottom half kind of set up, wrapping the strap around the front of your right foot. Hold at the foot if possible. And then as we flip the grip, elbow comes in nice and tight, around and up. Okay, and we wanna to try to move the arch of the spine so that it's equal through your entire spine. Okay, so how are you doing with cooling the flames right now, okay? How are you doing with coming back to center, with coming back and releasing expectations, releasing any negative thoughts or feelings. Hold on to the strap with both hands now, kicking back. Remember, stabilize through your lumbar spine. And then holding onto the strap with your left hand, if possible, if not, stay in a previous version. Reaching the right hand back for the shin. Point the chest as far arms as forward as possible. And release. Just let it go. Okay, neutralizing the spine again before our next movement. Just coming into Vajrasana. It's a kneeling position.
And then our last spinal position is flexion, which is a forward fold. So we're going to take it pretty mellow since we just did some back bends. We are neutralizing here, but you know, we don't need to work our forward folds at like max capacity. So opening out into Upavista Konasana. And engage the legs. Good. And then start walking your hands forward. So hopefully you have blocks or some kind of support. Stop where you need to stop. So we're not really pulling in that forward fold. We're relaxing into it. We're allowing our body to be where it is. We're actively cooling the fires right now. So forward fold, we're starting to cool down, mellow out, come back to stillness in the body. So for my block, I like to place my forehead on it to get that third eye space. Help me chill out a little. And then walk your hands back in. Bring your feet together. And either lie back or come to a seated position for meditation. For me recently, I've, I've really felt the need more to be still in a seated position than lying down. And it may just be the way my brain is kind of having a lot of fires that I need to put out. It helps me to stay focused in my meditation. So whichever position you're in, getting comfortable and allowing your body to release. Taking a moment here to just feel relaxation coming in to your spine, to the places in your body where you need it. So if you're like me, you've noticed that as you move more, of course, you get more fiery, no more tapas, more heat created for movement and discipline. And that the cooling, the calming of those fires is what gives us, number one, more stamina in our physical practice, but also engages the mind in that centering. And for some people, they really need that super hot tapas to burn off the actions of the mind. I'm definitely one of those people, for sure. So that helps me, but the cooling, for me, the cooling and the calming fires comes with the breath that I get out of breath pretty easily. And so I have to remind myself to stay with it, to stay with the breath focused practice. So calming the fires for you can mean something totally different. It can mean, you know, calming of the brain, calming of, places in your body where you're holding a lot of tension. But for all of us, it's an activation of that parasympathetic system, calming the fight or flight response, coming back into what I'm saying is an objective view of the mind and the body. So continue to calm and relax. Be aware of sounds coming and going. Let them be whatever they are. Know that you are taking this time to meditate. You can drop all other concerns during this period, like setting down a heavy bag before plopping into a comfortable chair. After the meditation, you can pick up those concerns again if you want to. Bring your awareness to the sensation of breathing. Don't try to control the breath. Let it be whatever it is. Sense the cool air coming in and warm air going out. The chest and belly rising and falling. 
Try to stay with the sensation of each breath from beginning to end. You may want to softly count your breaths, count to 10 and then start over. Go back to one if your mind wanders or note them quietly to yourself as in and out. It's normal for the mind to wander and when it does, just return to the breath. Be gentle and kind with yourself. See if you can stay attentive to 10 breaths in a row. Usually a challenge. Explore becoming increasingly absorbed in the breath and letting go of everything else. open to the simple pleasures of breathing, given over to the breath. With some practice, see if you can stay present with the breath for dozens of breaths in a row. I find that quite difficult. Using the breath as an anchor, be aware of whatever else is moving through the mind, aware of thoughts and feelings, wishes and plans, images and memories, all coming and going. Let them be what they are. Don't get caught up in them. Don't struggle with or get fascinated by them. Have a sense of acceptance, even kindness, toward whatever passes through the open space of awareness. Keep settling into the breath perhaps with a growing sense of peacefulness. Be aware of the changing nature of what passes through the mind. Notice how it feels to get caught up in the passing contents of awareness and how it feels to let them go by. Be aware of peaceful, spacious awareness itself. And that's one of the readings from the book, Buddha's Brain. Allowing your brain to now do whatever it chooses to do. Trying to let all control go. Allow your breath to be natural. If you're in a seated position and now would like to lie down for Shavasana, you are welcome to. If you're in Shavasana and would like to sit up to close class, you are welcome to. You can just stay as long as you need. For those of you closing class with me, we'll take it from a seated position and bring our hands to heart center. So I've taken something from the loving kindness meditations that I've seen that I'm going to, I don't know, maybe close with from here on out. We'll see how it goes. You guys let me know what you think. So we'll inhale through the nose and I will wish you health. May you be healthy. Inhale again through the nose. We exhale through the mouth. May you be happy. Last one, inhale through the nose. As you exhale through the mouth, may you be safe. So those are mantras for you and for the people around you. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe. May you take your practice from your mat out into the world today. Namaste. Namaste.